Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And a potentially exciting occasion on the cup front. It's Atletico Paranaense, and they take on the Seattle Sounders. Well, Derek, players and fans love a cup competition. And although we're a long way away from the final, both teams will be looking to book their place in the next round in the hope of a good run in this tournament. And beating the defender. Good technique displayed. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And he's fired over the corner. On the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. They've given it away. Roldan. The ball with Montero. And there to intervene. Well, can they open up the defence here? Chance to put them in front. Well, he really read that brilliantly. The outcome is a goal kick here. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Roldan it's Smith O'Neill Rui Diaz dangerous ball well the keeper reacted magnificently Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Crossing possibilities. Might jump in front. And a crisp effort just over the top.
Raul Rui Diaz. This looks promising. And it's played into the centre. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And getting ready for what should be potentially thrilling action here. It's New Zealand up against Norway. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the contest begins. Doing well to keep possession.
Betsy has it. And they find a gap in the defence. Flag raised for offside. Caro Graham Hansen. Lisa Maria Utland. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Paige Satchel. Chance. And they need to get tighter here. Bowen, Betsy has it, well, possibilities inside the box, and holding the ball up in a decent position, in position, and still dangerous, and the keeper able to hold on to it. Ville de Berisa. Lisa Maria Utlan. On to Graham Hansen. And a tidy ball. Went in strongly, decisively. Olivia Chance. White. Anali Longo. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Must be! Oh, it's off the post! Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now, they just need to take one of these chances. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Teammate in support. And there it is, 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. The opening goal of the game then. White. Longo. Anali Longo. Katie Bowen. Another perfect position to read it. Engen. Utland. Ingrid Sirstad Engen. Burisa. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. And it might be. No nonsense clearance. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Over it comes. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle. 